The biggest threat to your business right now doesn't come from out there. It lives right here. Fear. The fear of having difficult conversations. The fear of speaking uncomfortable truths. The fear of feedback is a legitimate business threat and it is the thing that is costing you time, talent, money, and morale. It's depleting our human capital, our most important resource. When we free ourselves from this fear, when feedback looks forward, not back, that is the moment when we put performance on a fast track to success. It is time that we make people partners in the process of their own progress. If we want to break free of the fear, then now is the time to stop looking back. Now is the time to start looking forward. Now is the time for Feed Forward. Feed Forward is the new fuel of feedback. With traditional feedback, we talk about who people are. But with Feed Forward, we shift that conversation to who they are becoming. It is a whole new playbook for how we think about people, performance, and potential. It activates our most human desire for agency and affirmation and it focuses us on a future that we can still change, not a past that we can't. With Feed Forward, we turn setbacks into comebacks. We make candor our competitive advantage, and we take that fear, and we turn it into a force. Because when we change our message and our mindset, Feed Forward has an unmistakable impact. Trust goes up, silos come down, and we are finally ready to have the conversations that matter when they matter most. I have used Feed Forward to help healthcare professionals deliver better patient outcomes, sales leaders to drive stronger results, and frontline workers in retail, hospitality, and restaurants produce exceptional customer experiences. And today, I want to share with you the beliefs and the behaviors, the science, and the strategies so that you can take control of that fear and once and for all make feedback fearless. We don't get to choose the feedback we get, but we always get to choose where it goes. We are brave enough and bold enough to make that fearless shift from feedback to feed forward, to stop seeing people as who they are and to start imagining them as who they are becoming. Then our businesses will be more successful, our practices will be more sustainable, our relationships will be more trusting, and our feedback will be fearless. We can't go back and change the past, but we can start right where we are and fix the future.